Good morning, Masters. Welcome to another wonderful session today. Let's um, enjoy, relax, and rejoice this beautiful Saturday by starting with a relaxing, calming, and joyful meditation. So, friends, today we will start this session with a simple breathing exercise. That exercise we are going to do for one minute. So this is one minute technique and don't underestimate the power of one minute. Even uh, in our daily busy lives and I, I even it can be at work environment or it can be at our uh, personal uh, uh, space. Even this one minute practices of doing one minute uh, breathing exercise. And today we are going to do one minute uh, body relaxation. And then uh, we are going to do like, you can do this uh, meditation also, just put the timer on and just to do Anapanasati meditation for one minute. This uh, one minute technique is wonderful and plays amazing results. I have applied this in my personal life. And uh, I have seen, especially at personal space, I'm all right to like sometime relax uh, and I'm able to like uh, balance, but at a workspace, and especially during the busy days and meetings and uh, project release time, it is like quite challenging. Uh, so yes, I have used this um, one minute meditation practice and applied there and uh, really, really it gave me very good results. And uh, yes, I do work for like Network Rail. I'm, I'm working there as a, a, a senior technical uh, developer, but there, I have introduced these techniques to my uh, uh, team members and to my management, and I do conduct sessions there. And they also have seen the um, power of these one minute uh, practices and five minutes practices. And even before the start and end of the start of the meeting, especially we do this 15 minutes uh, of practice. It's like just we start with breathing exercise for like a two minutes or three minutes, and then we uh, shift uh, to the body relaxation again for like uh, three minutes and uh, um, anapanasati meditation for rest of the minutes. Just it's like five minutes or so. That's it. So these 15 minutes, five, 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 I just split it and uh, conduct the session there. Really, it has given amazing results and people are like uh, practicing it. So this is the power of these uh, practices. And now today we are going to do that. And uh, please try to like... Uh, uh, apply this during this day today, wherever, just put a reminder in your uh, watches or in your mobile and just try to implement this practice. After listening, practice it and then implement it in your daily life. It will give you amazing results. And the second thing, after this um, practice of like uh, breathing exercise and uh, body relaxation technique, we are going to do Anapanasati meditation. That is the third thing. And after Anapanasati meditation, we are going to do, uh, um, uh, today I'm going to introduce a new book to you guys so that you can like uh, have a, a read through. This is a wonderful book which has transformed, create a, a very good transformation uh, for me in my personal uh, level, uh, like in the sense, uh, like not just the family, it's just for me, uh, who I am as a person, it has created a very good transformation. And the second thing is, um, uh, even at the workspace and even, it's like overall, overall, it's, we can't define just one category. So I'm going to share uh, that interesting aspects with you guys. So today, so let's, uh, this is how we are going to end the session with the wonderful book uh, introduction today. So yes, just sit comfortably. By the way, I'm Priya. Uh, I live in Manchester. So uh, yeah, in case uh, if you guys don't know me, this is who I am. Yeah, sit comfortably. Uh, remove spectacles uh, if you wear any. Gently close your eyes. Clasp your hands and cross your feet. Or if, uh, if, you, if you can't cross your feet, it's absolutely fine. Sit in any comfortable position, which you are fine with it. Close your eyes. 
and now we are going to do a simple breathing technique which is like you inhale to the count of four counting in your mind while doing the inhalation like slowly and deeply do the inhalation one to the count of four and hold your breath to the count of six if possible people who are not able to hold their breath up feel absolutely fine to like exhale to the count of eight so inhale deeply and slowly inhale deeply and then exhale slowly this uh, practice will give you very good energy and you can practice this throughout this day okay so inhale to the count of four and hold it to the count of six hold your breath to the count of six and exhale your breath to the count of eight slowly and don't stress your stomach muscles too much just do it in a relaxing way okay don't stress too much okay let's start doing it inhale one two three four hold your breath one two three four five six exhale one two three four five six seven eight so to this count flow you can just do your own counts in your mind and to do it so start doing it inhale hold your breath exhale again inhale Hold your breath. Exhale. Inhale. Hold your breath. Exhale. Now. We are going to do body relaxation. Again, we are going to do this for a minute or so. Gently close your eyes. Just bring your attention to your feet. Just breathe in. Bring your attention from your feet to your feet and just gently breathe in and breathe out. Feel relaxed. And gently, just follow my guidance. Your toes are relaxed. Your sole of the feet, the center of the feet is relaxed. Your ankle is relaxed. Your cough muscles are relaxed. Knees are relaxed. Just gently observe how you are feeling in these parts. When I say it's relaxed, just observe and feel just relaxed. Just say it. You don't need to like feel or think too much about it just say relax and just gently observe how you are feeling in those parts your knees are relaxed your thigh muscles are relaxed your hip muscles are relaxed stomach muscles are relaxed abdomen muscles are relaxed chest muscles are relaxed heart is relaxed lungs are relaxed your neck is relaxed just gently move your attention to the top of your spine your top of the spine is relaxed middle of just move your attention to the middle of the spine your middle of the spine is relaxed your end of the spine is relaxed your lower back is relaxed your upper back is relaxed throat muscles are relaxed your jaw cheek chin are relaxed your lips are relaxed nose is relaxed eyes are relaxed eyebrows are relaxed the space between your eyebrows are relaxed your forehead is relaxed your ears are relaxed your head is relaxed. Your scalp is relaxed. Just bring your attention to the top of your head and just gently 
Feel the relaxation flowing all through your body. And now, gently breathe in and breathe out. Now, slowly move your awareness to the tip of your nose and start observing or witnessing your breath. How you are inhaling now and exhaling. Don't force your breath. Just witness it. Friends, we got another 15 minutes to enjoy this relaxing and witnessing your beautiful breath. This is the process of Anapanasati. Just witness your breath. It's your self time. It's your me time. Just to be with your breath and live in the present moment. No past, no future. Only the present moment. E enjoy this every inhalation and exhalation and just witness it, watch it. While watching, enjoy it. Think this is a joy time, enjoy joyful time to be with your breath because breath is the everything that makes you run in this life. Enjoy this life and achieve all the goals that you want in your life. So think this as a joyful, rejoicing time. And you are, this is the core. Breath is that beautiful string that holds you. And the breath is the one which makes you to achieve everything in this life, right? So spend this another beautiful 15 minutes, just 15 minutes, just to be with your core of your life. Just witness it and enjoy this time. Be with your breath. I will play a gentle soft music. Just enjoy it.
Just gently bring your awareness to your physical body. And slowly open your eyes and have a gentle smile on your face. Welcome to this another beautiful day. Thank you, friends. I hope you all enjoyed this meditation today. And now uh, we are going to get introduced to another beautiful, amazing book. Uh, so I'm going to share that uh, book. One minute. I hope you are all able to see my screen. Yeah. Can anybody uh, just uh, give a... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No okay. Yeah. So this is the book that I'm talking, The Magic, written by Rhonda Bryan. So... This is the book, actually you all, I think some, most of you would have know about that uh, secret, uh, the series that, uh, um, it's not a series, I think a movie, it's available in YouTube. And uh, the, this is like, they have taken one practice and applied in this, uh, talked uh, everything about that practice in this magic book. So I'm going to ask you one riddle just a second. Yes, I'll just minimize this. So whoever has will be given more and he will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what he has will be taken from him. So friends, can you just respond in the chat what it could be? I just need some response. So we will just, it may just make it interesting. So whoever has will be given more and he will have an abundance. Whoever doesn't have even what he has will be taken from him. What it could be. Any guess? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoever has will be given more. Okay. And he will have an abundance. Hmm. Interesting answers. Ideas. What ideas? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. A few the right answers are coming up, right? Yeah. All the answers are right. But uh, the exact one, what we are looking for is yes, it's gratitude. You're right. You're all right. Uh, but happiness, self content, love, peace, it's all come out of the feeling of gratitude, right? So that's also ab absolutely fine. Service, everything, everything. Yes, the positive thoughts, happiness, and sorrow. I'm not sure. Whoever has <laughs> sorrow, no, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so, out of the uh, like uh, the gratitude actually it stimulates the positivity or the happiness so the key thing that stimulates the uh, goodness in you it can be happiness self content love peace uh, it's all if, uh, comes from gratitude so we are going to have a little talk about gratitude and uh, so let's see what's in there in this book i'm going to read it from this book for you guys so that you know what is in this book and why we have to read it because this book is quite transformative for me and i want to like uh, make sure whoever uh, that comes across in my life they want to uh, know the value of gratitude we know yes feeling gratitude is good but to what extent how how valuable it is 
So that is what we are going to see in this book. So yeah. Whoever has gratitude will be given more and he or she will have an abundance. Whoever does not have gratitude, even what he or she has will be taken from him or her. And friends, this gratitude is universal law. Gratitude operates through a universal law that governs your whole life. According to the law of attraction, which governs all the energy in our universe, from the formation of an atom to the movement of the planets, like attracts like. It is because of the law of attraction that the cells of every living creature are held together, as well as the substance of every material object. In your life, the law operates on your thoughts and feelings because they are energy too. And so whatever you think, whatever you feel, you attract to. When you arise in the morning, give thanks for the morning light, for your life and strength. Give thanks for your food and joy of living. If you see no reason for giving thanks, the fault lies within yourself. Albert Einstein, specific scientific discoveries changed the way we see the universe. And when we asked about his monumental achievements, he spoke only of giving thanks to others. One of the most brilliant minds of all time thanked other people over a hundred times a day for the work they had done. Is it any wonder that so many of life's mysteries were revealed to Albert Einstein? Is it any wonder that Albert Einstein made some of the greatest scientific discoveries in history? He practiced gratitude every single day of his life and in return, he received many forms of abundance. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what is circumstances, current circumstances, the magic of gratitude will change your life. So let's check with ourselves, like how much gratitude we are using it, how we can check it. Just ask, you, ask this question to you, okay? Is your life magical? Because when we are young, we think this life is wonderful, beautiful, magic, whatever we think most of the time we receive. If it is the right thing, we, we receive it. We felt, I think the, for in everybody right here today would have felt some moment is magical. It can be childhood, it can be uh, uh, or in teens or it can be in adulthood. But you can tell right now how much you have actually used gratitude in your life. Just take a look at all of the major areas in your life. Example, money, health, happiness, career, home, and relationships. The area of your life that are abundant and wonderful are where you have used gratitude and are experiencing the magic as a result. Any areas that are not abundant and wonderful or due to lack of gratitude. So friends, just take this as a, a key to measure uh, your uh, major areas in your life and see how where you are missing gratitude in your life and where you are applying it. So I just share the magic formula. Thank you is the bridge from where you are now to the life of your dreams. The magic formula is, number one, deliberately think and say the magic words, thank you. Number two, the more you deliberately think and say the magic words, thank you, the more gratitude you feel. Third point, the more gratitude you deliberately think and feel, the more abundance you receive. So as we express our gratitude, 
we must never forget that highest appreciation is not to utter words but to live by them so you have it's not just uttering thank you you have to live by that words by that feeling and that emotion with that much gratitude so the more gratitude you feel from your heart everything the other side whatever your dreams or the changes that you are expecting it will happen and i have seen in my personal uh, like at a personal relationship level my health level my work level uh, it has tremendously has improved it so in this book there are 28 magical practices that have been specifically designed so that you learn how to use gratitude's magical power to revolutionize your health money job and relationships and to make your smallest desires and your biggest dreams come true you will also learn how to practice gratitude to dissolve problems and transform any negative situation into positive so friends this is what i want to share uh, with you today so this is that magic book i have shared it um so please uh try to like whenever you get an opportunity to like if you have it read it read through or uh, yeah if you not please uh, it's worth investing uh, the money for this book it's wonderful and uh, try to practice it and reap the benefit out of it thank you friends uh, this is the end of the session thank you everybody for joining this wonderful session and making and empowering each other with the more of positive energy thank you thank you thank you